You know, I look at uh, the progress of mankind, and I've read a little bit about history, and in uh, just a few thousand years, we've come from uh, farming to being able to uh, manufacture food in a test tube, practically, uh, to being able to, from, go, from being able to walk on the ground uh, following an animal, to being able to launch a rocket into space that'll take us to the moon and bring us back. So um, I just think it's a wonderful thing to be part of this process and to, uh, to be adding to the store of knowledge. Um, now everything that we now face because of our success, now that we can inhabit every square inch of the earth, um, now of course we now produce new kinds of problems uh, that have technical parts of their solutions. So if you discover that there's uh, uh, oil has been spilled someplace, well, maybe there's a technical process to go get it back. Uh, if you uh, say, well, we need to, uh, to think of a kind of fuel that uh, is renewable, well, there's technical content to that. Let's uh, work on that. So, um, you know, human beings have been on Earth uh, looking about like we look now for about 100,000 years. Um, probably there were people even before that, but they were different. Um, so, um, but in, only in the last 25 years, we're seeing this incredible rapid growth of our abilities and our uh, growth of our population. And, um, and so everything is still in front of us. The, uh, the world is changing so quickly and scientists have an awful lot to do with which way it's gonna be able to go.